Hello. I wish I could be there with you in Ouagadougou, and I've always wanted to attend Fespaco, the spiritual home of um, African cinema. When uh, Fespaco began, almost about 50 years ago, Ausman Senben's La Noire de opened in New York three years after its release in Senegal. And I remember that picture having an incredible impact on me. It was so haunting and so quietly ferocious. It wasn't like anything really that I'd ever seen. It was like a door had opened in the West. And it was the first time we could feel a truly African voice in the cinema. Sam Ben had spent uh, 20 years in France when he was young. And when he returned to Dakar in 1960, he wanted to know his own world, his own culture, his own continent. He said, uh, I wanted to give another impression of Africa. By the mid-70s, African cinema had really started to flourish. The films of Youssef Shanin, Shadi Abdel Salam, Medhondo, Jibril Diop Mambeti, Safi Fay, Idrissa Udrago, Abdirahman Sisako, Mahamat Saleh Harun, the great Suleiman Sisse, and many others have inspired filmmakers around the world. There's such a range of voices from every corner of the African continent. It's almost three times the size of the United States. Over 50 countries, 800 languages, nearly 300 filmmakers just in the French-speaking or the Francophone countries alone. I'm aware now more than ever that we know very little about African cinema and that what we do know is still filtered through our own narrative and our own reference points. And that's why we at the World Cinema Project are proud to join forces with our partners, Fapechi and UNESCO, on a, a new endeavor called uh, the African Film Heritage Project. And this is an initiative to identify, restore, and preserve uh, the great works of African cinema, and most importantly, make them available throughout the world. So over the last 10 years, the World Cinema Project, working alongside our FIAF partners, Cineteca di Bologna, has managed to restore and preserve films from India and Cuba, Philippines, Brazil, Turkey, and other countries across the globe. In the particular case of African cinema, restoration and preservation is really only half the battle. I mean, African films need to be seen by the audiences they were intended for, the African people. They need to find their way home. And the problems begin with the location of the original materials. The best surviving elements of African films are rarely found in Africa, but usually where the first prints were made, most often in France, Belgium, or the UK. Our goal with the initiative is to bring these films back to the cultures they came out of, and at the same time, make them available around the world. And I'm proud that the World Cinema Project has already restored seven African films from Egypt, Shadi Abdel Salam's Al Momia and his short film, The Eloquent Peasant, from Morocco, Ahmed Al Manouni's Trances and Al Yam Al Yam, from Senegal, Jabril Diop Mambeti's Tuki Buki, and two pictures from Osman Semben, Barum Serrat, and La Noire Du. But really, it's just a start. Our next step is the African Film Heritage Project, and I'm proud that we're making the announcement here. Thank you.